Okay, folks, here's some cringe from back in the day. Borders, um, 5-2-2008. That's when this was bought. Um, uh, and his arguments are such crap. Um, it's like Dawkins didn't even... Didn't even research his um, his topic before just going on a tirade and bitching about it like the whiner he is. Because, uh, I mean, the one thing I agree with um, Jordan Peterson on is that this is not a very good critique of religion. Uh, he says in the preface... Preface, imagine with John Lennon a world where with no religion. Imagine no suicide bombers, no 9-11, no 7-7, no crusades, no witch hunts, no gunpowder plot, no Indian partition, uh, no Israeli-Palestinian wars, no Serb, Croat, Muslim massacres. <coughs> well, no gunpowder plot. That's just straight up anti-Catholic. Um, so it was all right for the Puritans to try to murder everyone that wasn't a Puritan. Uh, no suicide bombers. Well, having been a former Muslim, I know that suicide bombing was haram until the PLO learned from a Pakistani Marxist Maoist group, and if you don't know, uh, communist Marxist Maoists are atheists, um, that was in East Pakistan or Bangladesh. Um, and that's where they got it from. That, that's where they got the idea of suicide bombing. So it was a practice of atheists where suicide bombing got into Islam from. Now, let's go through here. There's another part I wanted to get to. Oh, fake quotes by Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, um, but where is the Carl Sagan quote? I mean, he totally jacked up. Uh, I mean, his Pelagia nonsense in Cosmos was just ridiculous. Oh, here it is. Um Carl Sagan, how is it hardly any major religion has looked at science and concluded this is better than we thought the universe is much bigger than our prophet said, uh, grandeur, more subtle, more elegant. Instead, they say, no, 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 my God is a little God, and I want him to stay that way. A religion, old or new, stressed the magnificence of the universe as revealed by modern science might be able to draw forth re reserves of reverence and awe hardly tapped by conventional faith. That's ridiculous. It's not as if, you know, um, and I experienced this in Islam and Christianity, um, seeing uh, outer space through the Hubble telescope, um, and looking at, you know, fractals and uh, things in science. And if you're around devout Muslims or even Christians, they go, oh my gosh, look how magnificent God has made our circulatory system or intricate the, um, the universe is. In fact, it was Christianity that believed, uh, or I should say the Abrahamic faiths that said that, uh, you know, God made the universe kind of like a clock, everything for a purpose, and that it works, that uh, got science off the ground, unlike with paganism, where, you know, there were no laws of the universe. But also, here's this thing. Um, what can be called the Einsteinian religion of supernatural, uh, from supernatural religion, Einstein sometimes invoked the name of God, and he is not the only atheistic scientist to do so, inviting misunderstandings by supernaturalists eager to misunderstand the claim, so illustrious a thinker as their own and dramatic, or was it or or was it so mischievous? 
Ending of Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time, for then we should know the mind of God. It is notoriously misconstrued. No, um, <coughs> actually look at the, look, go read The Brief History of Time or Brief History of Time done by PBS in the 90s. He specifically asked the Cardinal if he could study the Big Bang or before it, and they said, you can study everything after, um, starting with the Big Bang and after, but you can't study before it. And he said, okay. So all of his great contributions um, that he did, he did while at least being somewhat of a theist. And actually, if you read Einstein's book, he talks about there being three religions. There's the religion of the state, which keeps people in line, the religion of the fear of death, um, and the what he calls the, the third type, which is the good type, the mystical type, the religion of St. Francis of Assisi, which he attributes to something mystical and good. So it seems that this ass, <laughs> Dawkins, who is an ass, uh, one, doesn't know where suicide bombing comes from, uh, two, didn't read Einstein's book, and three, uh, didn't know that Haw Stephen Hawking, uh, for his the first 30 years of his life, was extremely concerned what the church thought and actually limited his research because he didn't want to commit blasphemy. But it turns out you can't, really can't study prior to the Big Bang anyways because there's no space, energy, time, or matter to study. And the laws of thermodynamics break down. 